My name is Alejandro Ortiz. I am a biomedical engineer at Indiana Tech and I'll be graduating this May 2021. Well, basically, at first, actually, I came as a mechanical engineer. And then my second semester, I met Amy Shank. Uh, she is the supervisor of biomedical engineering. And she showed me this lab and she showed me the cadavers. And that just got me interested in learning about the human body and how it works. Uh, well, what I like about biomedical engineering is that it's like double major in a sense. Uh, I learned about, a lot about mechanical engineers, but I also learn about the human body and then I can join those two to produce maybe uh, to design a product that goes inside or outside the human body. So I am designing a myoelectric prosthetic hand and myoelectric means that basically that can be powered electrically. The way the prosthetic hand works and how to control it actually is I use mainly three electrodes. So the first electrode will go in the palmaris longus, then in the extensor digitorium, and in the bicep. I try to place them in big muscles, so the signal I get is reliable. And once I contract my muscle, that electrode catch the signal, and then uh, the computer amplifies that signal and uses to control the prosthetic hand. So, uh, for example, the palmaris longus controls the flexion of the fingers of the hand, the extensor digitorum controls the extension of the fingers of the hand, and I'm using the bicep as a toggle switch for, to control the thumb. My first semester of my senior year, I did a lot of research for my senior project, so mainly looking at the market, looking at competitive products, looking at patents, and to understand really how a prosthetic hand works. And I also came up with an initial design iteration. For my second semester, I actually improved in that initial design iteration, changed some features here and there so I can have a final model, the one I have now. During the design of my prosthetic hand, I learned well, a lot about electricity, a lot about programming. Uh, those are new topics for me. And I also learned how actually the design process works because I'll design something uh, on the CAD software, like in 3D, and then I'll 3D print it, and then I'll have the 3D printed model here, but and when I try to assemble the pieces together, they will not fit, for example, or I will not have enough space. I mainly learn how to actually uh, kind of see the future, like um, see how, like in my mind, imagine how this is actually gonna be assembled. To start uh, designing my hand, well, I started with like mainly the finger mechanism, the mechanical part of it, but once I got that part working, I start going to the electrical part, and then the electrical part comes along with the programming part, because I had to use motors to actually trigger the finger uh, mechanism. Well, the most exciting part of like designing the prosthetic hand, it, for me, it was like just learning about all the things I learned during the process. And that means like how to design a product from scratch to the end. Uh, I think that experience was really valuable. And I think that just designing um, mechanical devices or medical devices is exciting. For me, after completing this project, I feel kind of a relief. And also I feel like, I, it just makes me feel like I can learn anything and really design anything I put my mind to. I think my, my time at Indiana Tech has helped me uh, not only grow, grow as a person because as a small school you can interact better with your professors. That kind of like personal relationship is good for me to grow as a person, but also in the academic part where I could learn about a lot of different fields and apply it to, to my project and in the future to my career.